Bismillahirrahmanirrahim His Excellency Salva Kiir President of Republic of South Sudan Excellencies Presidents Prime Ministers Head of State and Government Distinguished Guests and Ladies and Gentlemen It's an honor and privilege to participate in this historic celebration of peace stability and unity in Sudan. I thank His Excellency President Salva Kiir for extending this important invitation to me and my delegation and for hosting this peace agreement. I also thank and congratulate him and his Sudanese counterparts, most notably his Excellency Abdul Fattah Al Burhan and his Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamdouk, as well as all stakeholders for playing an important role in making this peace agreement possible. Indeed, today is not just a wonderful day for the people and government of Sudan but also for those brotherly states who have encouraged and supported the peace process like Somalia. In essence, we are all hoping we will collectively mark this day as the beginning of the wonders to come from peace dividend that has been achieved and must now be nurtured by all in Sudan and the wider Horn of Africa region. The Juba Peace Agreement is important for Sudan in many ways, but most crucially because the entire process was owned and led by the Sudanese government and people. And of course, the facilitation of President Silva Kiir. As His Excellency Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdouk stated earlier in the process, quote, this is Sudanese peace made with our own hands and by our own efforts, end of quote. The effective implementation of Juba Peace Agreement has the real potential to bring lasting peace, stability and hope to Sudan with the end to hostility in Sudan. The silence of guns in these regions was also mean a better future for our entire region and by extension the whole world. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am deeply privileged and honored to witness the signing of peace agreement today. I congratulate the Sudanese government, people and all the stakeholders who made this day possible. This is a historic occasion for Sudanese people and the entire region. Accordingly, I am confident this agreement will pave the way for good governance, inclusive politics, and a strong economy that will ensure Sudan and its resilient and proud people fulfill their personal and national ambition and potential going forward. The Somali people have gone through the same painful journey as their brothers in parts of Sudan affected by conflict. We have seen the pain, misery, and failure caused by internal strife. We have shed blood, lost relatives and friends, and we almost destroyed our country. Thankfully, now we are working hard to rebuild our country together. But the challenges of establishing a democratic, inclusive, and progressive nation after internal conflict is something we understand all too well. I have said many times before, the road to conflict and destruction is simply easy and often very speedy. However, returning from the dark point of any nation takes sacrifice, 
compromise, dignity, and above all, courage. In the case of post-conflict states, courage is in compromise and forgiveness, while success is in sincere cooperation for sustainable development. Accordingly, we in Somalia see a brighter future for Sudan as its people today are clearly reconciling and turning their back on a decades-long conflict. This, indeed, is the beginning of a journey to a stronger unity through common purpose of Sudan and its brotherly people. On the Juba Peace Agreement, I say again, congratulations, congratulations, brothers and sisters in Sudan. However, to sustain today, today's signed peace agreement, it's important that the Sudanese stakeholders continue their productive dialogue to further strengthen inclusive politics and good governance for the benefit of its people. Again, I am confident stability, progress, and prosperity will follow. I wish you all well and successful implementation on this peace agreement. I thank you all.